Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Dark Rooms Podcast. I'm Psychic. I'm here with Ozone, Arcadendo, and our guest for today, Impulse Evan. Sadly, Hello. he couldn't make it, so Evan's here. Uh, Hi. I'm the replacement. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yay! Today we're going to be finally talking about Tales from Peace Plex number five, Bobby Dot's Conclusion. We're going to be talking about everything <laughs> except the Bobby Dot's Conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> It feels weird Not to true, say, doesn't that. it? Yeah. We're um, going to be talking about this we're book. Talk about the the Bobby the <laughs> we're yeah. we're going to talk about the book, but not the title story. Exactly. Yeah, um, of course. You know. Makes perfect sense. Exactly. Um, if you, you know, if you like, uh, uh, watch, if you like Dark Rooms podcast, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, Do it. Yes. Because we will be you talking about to. Bobby Dot's conclusion soon. Um, Maybe next week, maybe not. We're not sure. We'll figure it out. Um, but we'll yeah. do something. Yeah, we'll do something at some point. Also, great question. Who who the hell is this British underscore? Oh yeah, if you if uh, you weren't here yeah. for the last episode, um, underscore <laughs> decided to take a step away from the podcast. He might come back as a guest or even full time eventually, but right now he's just gonna be taking a step back. Um, and so he's please done. give a warm welcome to. Arcade Endo, who's the newest member of the podcast. Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. I'm uh, going to do FNAF AR. Just as much now. charisma. Just <laughs> He's going to do FNAF AR. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, let's stop wasting time and let's get into GGY. Or do we want to start with Storyteller? Yes. Which one's bigger? Which one do we want to start with? They're both I as big as each other, I think, honestly. Is- Really? I'd okay. say GGY is just. I'd argue GGY is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's start with that one. Um. So, story summary. Um, the story. Um, I'm gonna do summary unless anyone has whatever anyone else wants to do it. <laughs> you may go ahead. Um, this story follows. Um, Tony was it? It was Tony, right? Yes, Tony. Tony and... the Tiger. Basically, basically, he is this kid who, um, his dad isn't dead for once, just imprisoned, and, <laughs> oh. and, and he and he likes no he likes finding out the truth. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's he is a what was it like a detective writer? He want, he he wants to be an investigative and, journalist. An investigative journalist. Yeah, that was, he that was the he prefers telling stories about nonfiction rather than fiction. Anyway, yes. so he's in this fiction writing yeah. class, <laughs> and he doesn't yeah. like it very much. Um, <laughs> and they just got given a brand new assignment to write about something. Um, yes. And he partners up begin. with his two friends. And um, they have this little thing going on where um, they use their pen names while they're writing stories. And they make them up. So we have Boots um, from Puss in Boots, which is actually a good movie. I saw it recently. Good movie. Um, okay. I've heard about it. I need to watch it. I need to Rab watch it. Or... I've not watched it. It's good. Uh, and then there's Rab or Dr. Rabbit. Ooh. Ooh. Rabbit. And Rabbit moment. Bell. It's underscore. Underscore is infiltrated it's the un- book. It's real. That's <laughs> why he's not on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyways. So, um... They're like, Tony's like, let's start the story. And they're like, now nah, we're going to go to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. And he's like, oh, fine, I'll join you guys. So they go there, and while they're playing games, he's just off wandering around. And he, um, he f- takes interest in these two high schoolers playing pinball. And he goes up, and he's like, just watching them. Then he looks at the scoreboards, and he notices that there's a suspicious character. Uh, GGY has points, like millions and millions above other people impossibly high yes yeah so he decides to says. walk around a bit and he keeps noticing that on any game that ggy played he is the top and it's impossibly high so he's like hmm this is an interesting story so he goes back to the two girls and he's like hey you guys are playing pinball do you know who that ggy character is and they're like uh we don't really care we're playing a game we're competing uh, go find this kid named Axel. And he's like, okay. ABC. ABC. Axel. Whatever Bobby his name was. Conclusion. Real. And, and I think this is a good <laughs> point. This is a good point to note that, like, 
this is 100% accurate to the games as well, just like Bobby Dots. Um, yeah. Yes. Because we yeah, do see exactly. someone called ABC on one of the one of the arcade games, which is just crazy. Yeah. And GGY, of course. Like, can we just? Yeah, yeah. Like that, that's crazy. Yeah. And that's so cool. Yeah. It's it's all planned out from the start. It's amazing. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it goes to show the... how deep Security Breach's story really is. Yeah. yeah I, I, I have a question. Like, started writing in two uh, in 2019. So. Yeah. I have a question. Arcade Endo. That's a. Uh, has GGY yes. been playing you recently? <laughs> uh, may, no comment. May have no comment. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> okay, Psyche, continue with your summary. Okay, so he walks around and he eventually finds Axel. And he's like, hey, listen, uh, these two girls um, said that you might know. And it's like, oh, it's what are their names? Like... Crystal and uh, someone else. Oh, Crystal and, Crystal and someone. someone else. Yeah. Is unimportant. <laughs> only we only remember Crystal because she because uh, Crystal reasons. and Bingus and Bingus. Yeah. Crystal and Bingus. So real. Like, Bingus. So he's like, oh, Crystal and Bingus. Yeah, I know those two. Um, <laughs> he he doesn't know much about GGY. <laughs> um, I forget what he says. Uh, does anyone remember what Axel says? This is um, very. Detailed. I, we we can. I think yeah. he basically just says like he d- he doesn't know who who GGY is pretty much. Yeah. Um. And he's like, oh crap. yeah. So he. And nobody's seen him play either. Yeah. Oh, that that's what it was like. No one's seen him play. Yeah. Um. So, oh yeah. So Tony is like, huh? That's interesting. And he starts going away. And then he notices like a little white flash in the corner of his eye. And there's just Glamrock Freddy, just staring, staring at, at him. At him. Kind of weird. Yes. Staring. And that, like, kind of freaks him out, so he goes home. Um, next time he goes back to the Pizza Plex. But doesn't he also meet the employee guy? Yes, that's what I was going to say. Next time, yes. I, I believe it's, a, it's, a, it's a next, the next time he goes there. He's hanging out, and he notices an okay. employee, and he's like, hey, listen. I Finbar, you. right? Finbar. I think that was his name. Yep. I've been seeing you watching around, walking around. What you doing, kid? And he's like, oh, I'm trying to figure out who this GG biker is. And it's like, oh, well, um, I think he says like, um, he says something about how it's not like an employee because because like the employee cards. Yeah, but the he, I think he also says the machines were not hacked. Right. Yes, he had a technician come by and he said. That these machines were not hacked. So they, the scores were made legitimately. Seemingly. Seemingly, yeah. Um, and then Finbar gets pulled away because a little kid is just kicking a, a Fruity Maze, maze. game. <laughs> fruity Maze. Oh, yeah. Which is, which is I forgot crazy. about that. Um, and he notices that Glamour Freddy is again staring at him. And he's like... Hey. I swear to God, if in a future story we see him from Midnight Motorist Arcade, I'm going to jump out the window. Oh, dun, 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 oh, that would be dun, amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> the Midnight Motorist or him jumping out the window? Which one would be amazing? Uh, <laughs> uh, hey! Um, <laughs> what are you trying I'll, to say? I'll, I'll do it with you. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it with you. I'm down. Anyway, yeah, continue. Jumping out, a, jumping out a window, um, Bill Gates will prove. So, <laughs> basically, Tony's like, okay, I need to, like, I need to figure out who this is. So I'm going to go online because there's a lot of arcade people online who would probably know, you know, what, what this is. So he basically goes and he's like, he makes a bunch of accounts called digger one. Like, Oh, I'm like, I'm digging for information. And he, uh, he just <laughs> asks, he doesn't ask directly who Juju Y is. Um, but someone messages him like, why are you searching for this? Uh, and they're, they're basically like, I'll text you again tomorrow at the same time. And he's like, okay. So he waits. And then, like, they're like, meet me at the school under the bleachers. And he's like, wait, what? So, so it's kind of creepy. And he goes. He just, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to meet up with this random person I don't know online. And it turns out that it's always one of the that. pinball girls. We're going to say Crystal Meth. We're going to say it's Crystal just because we don't know the other one's name. I'm pretty sure it was Crystal. Well, it is, it is Crystal. And yeah, it like, was Crystal. Listen, That's why we remember Crystal and not the other one. Probably. Yeah. She's like, yeah because it was Crystal. Listen, kid. She, I know I'm a hacker. Yes. And he's like, exactly. You're a hacker? 
She was like, yeah. And I was poking around in the code one day, and I saw a bunch of signatures that was like, GGY. And he's like, oh, the same guy that, that was in the machine. And, and she was like, yeah. Now, listen, I have a brother, so I, I feel really bad if I didn't tell you. Be careful. This isn't normal. They're messing with the animatronics. He's like, okay, <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. So he's like, <laughs> so he starts going back, and he actually drops the GGY thing. He actually just take her advice and just drops it for a little while, and um, yeah, basically, um, Wilmer Freddy is always still watching him, and then, um, he's like, okay, I'm going to. I, I need to get down to the bottom of this. I can't just sit around. So he he finds an employee and he he need pickpockets them because he knows how to pickpocket. And he manipulation. Steals, he steals their their security badge and gets into an office and is like th- like searching the databases for GGY <laughs> and he finds it. Like he finds GGY and it says like oh he's also um brought other people in there. Someone named Mary. Someone named yeah. He has a he has a hacked party pass. Yeah, hacked party pass. Like, That's basically a security. Mm, pass. I wonder There's who those people could be. Oh my god, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Um, and he's like, okay, <gasps> the missing children. <gasps> no. Real. Um, he's like, okay. I believe he like he like he doesn't like do a, a bunch more researching from then on. For a little while, he just is like, okay, I gotta accept, and he starts writing. His yeah, story. and when he. When he leaves that machine, Freddy, like, follows him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then, <laughs> a couple days later, he's painting a fence. Um, and he, he remembers hearing a news, and he realizes, like, Mary, which was one of the people on the, on the hacked party pass, is the name of a school counselor that went missing. And he's like... There's Actually, no he hears that from his grandma's TV, and then he realizes he yeah, connects he hears it later it from the yeah. news on the TV. Well, when he's he doesn't really realize it first. He's kind of like yeah, he realizes it what, like I think the next the day fence. or a few days yeah, later. That's what I said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I it's not a fence. Question. I'm pretty sure it's a wall. Oh Either a way, basement. if 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 <laughs> these are school counselors, then why does Vanessa also have sessions with them? Probably because they... well, they well they say that they work in um, schools and in other places as well. In the, the yeah, CDs they work with multiple ages. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so, um, he's like, okay, I got, I'm gonna sneak into the, um, like, the, the admin's office in a school. And it's actually a really cool foreshadowing, because, like, before this, they talked about a story where it was inspired by how the kids were able to break into the school one time by secret. And then they actually used that in the story, which I thought that was kind of cool. Um. Wait, was, was that in this story? Yeah. Um, it was like. Oh, that's cool. It was like when talking about previous stories, they right and like their inspiration. He was like, "Oh, and one of the stories where like these these characters enter like a secret place. It was inspired by the fact that there's a loose brick at the school which you can get into after hours." And then like, oh, that's... thirty minutes later in the book, oh, that's he cool. uses that. That's yeah. really cool as well because uh, it, it it like specifically says like Tony is like more into nonfiction, so like mm-hmm. obviously like the fiction would be true no. yeah so like yeah, his whole inspiration is just like to yeah. to use real things in order to like Pretend. inspire him for like the fiction stories um another yeah yeah, yeah. That the only people who knew about the secret entrance were tony rab and boots so yes. he decides mm-hmm. to go there at night so he sneaks in he uses the secret passage and he he goes to the office and he starts like typing in like oh trying to get more information on mary schneider because that's the counselor who disappeared and he starts hearing noises in the building he's like i'm alone right um and then he notices that there are four counselors one is the current one they have one is the missing person named mary and then there are two others who are missing and their names are the same ones on ggy's hacked party pass Mm -hmm. yes so he's just like oh shit he's like oh crap <laughs> they have ggy has been like teeny surface into the he's like i gotta get out of here because and he also like hears another he's like yeah i gotta like get out um next day he gets called in the principal's office and the principal's like hey listen i know you've broken the school uh you have detention and he's like i avoid the cameras someone must have ratted me out but who could that have possibly been <laughs> 
Um, and I he, wonder. And he goes, he goes to detention, and he's like, "Listen, admin lady, uh, I'm sorry that I broke into your office last night." And she's like, "Listen, I get it. You're probably doing research. Uh, just help me with." It was a librarian. Books. Librarian, help me just move these books, and I'll let you be on your way. And so he's doing that. Oh, and at the beginning of the day, when he went to tell uh, Boots what happened to the therapist, um, he got given their story back because he asked them to revise it, and it was just completely ruined. Um, and so he's mad. He's like, oh. Yeah. by Rob. Mm. By Rab and Boots. And he was like, oh, I, I'm not, you don't even get to be called your name anymore. And it was like Ellis or something. And... Um, he's like, and then here's his name, and he's like, oh, it's the other story destroyer. Um, and he's like, Rab doesn't get the, the, the pen name anymore. What's up, Greg? (laughs) Oh my god. And he's like, listen. That's a name we've uh, seen before. He's like, listen, I'm sorry about your book. How about you come to the pizza plex? Uh, we'll get you Oh my god, Greg, wait. Wait, psychic. Ozone. Arcidendo, Greg. That's the name of the kid in Fetch. That must be. It must be the same kid, right? <laughs> no way. No way. Sitchland Games. Uh-oh. Oh God. For real. For real. <laughs> um. Great. That's that's great. Sitchland Games. <laughs> oh God. Um. I imagine they reveal like in the DLC that the, the, the Greg's are the same. Um, <laughs> you know, why funny. he talks in he talks in text talk like Fetch. It's <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's where the story ends. Um, you know, oh, it wasn't amazing. Okay. So we know what happens. So, you know really Gregory's like all right in security breach. We know that he. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions. Tony's Let's dead. Talk about theories. Tony yeah. is dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Tony's dead. Yeah. Dead. And I, and I actually really like how it ends. Anyway. That it, it like people are saying like it's a cliffhanger. It's a bad story because it ends on a cliffhanger. But like. We know what happens. We we in every now. pretty much every story leaves on a cliffhanger. I mean, yeah, kinda. people who believe it's a bad story because it's a cliffhanger and they don't know what happens just require a few more brain cells in their brain. It doesn't I think. Take yeah. I mean, like, I think yeah. that more people dislike the story because they hate the reveal. Let's talk about that. Um, so this story, I'm if you haven't gathered it by now, Gregory is patient forty six. Yes. Does no, anybody here deny Gregory. that? Does anybody no. here yeah, deny that? It's, 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 it's very I clear. <laughs> Why? No, it's not Gregory. Get out of here, Rosa. No, it's Greg from Fetch, well, for, it's for definitely sure. Vanny. No, there's two Vannies. I've got it all figured out. There's two Vannies. <laughs> One of them's a robot, which is also Tape Girl, and it will fit. No, it's Vannies and Bob. Gregory real. is innocent. Nothing is wrong. No, listen. No, it, listen. It's, the, the it's, uh, it's Henry's wife, for real. Henry's wife. Henry's wife. Oh, what's happening? Hen- Henry's, Henry's wife. wife. <laughs> Henry's <laughs> wife, Sammy, obviously. <laughs> Sammy's wife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Samantha. Okay. okay, let let's actually talk about this. Oh boy, we haven't talked about forty six since like the second episode of season three. It's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, when Underscore made up a load of BS, and Inky was like, let's talk about the stupid theory. Gregory is patient 46. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I don't think it, from Security Breach, I'm not going to lie, I don't think it really has that much evidence. Like, it had some, but see, not, the big not thing that much, was, I don't think. Um, I the other, like, almost every other language using, like, she for 46. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is why people dismissed Gregory. Like, well, that was one of the big reasons. The other one was like, it doesn't make sense. Why is he making the robots more angry? Um, yeah. And now, I, we still don't have our answer to that. But, we know... I, we, we can make theories theory. about it. Yeah. I Today, I, I re-watched, um, like, Matt Pat re-listening to the tapes. And, uh, oh, sorry, listening to the tapes for the first time. And he, like, correctly predicted it was Gregory... Like first time listening, and I was like, yeah. "That's kind of insane." I think the I think all the clues were there, but we were just yeah. really stupid and overthinking it. <laughs> honestly, yeah, it's really clear it was a child. I think, the there's, other, I think there's other. I think there's other options people that people just look too much into it. Yeah, I think there's mm-hmm. other options that would have made sense if it weren't for this story. 
I think what threw me off was that it being Gregory doesn't make sense because why would Gregory kill? Uh, and and also, story... why would he make the animatronics try to kill him? Yeah, uh, this story like clears up so much on that, honestly. So, should we talk about theories and stuff? Dr. Rabbit. Why does he name himself that? Yeah. <laughs> the, wizard, the wizard's favorite apprentice. Exactly. It's inspiration from his real life. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Glitchtrap is in control, right? Yes. When and how do you guys think that happened? Good question. Uh, last Saturday. True. Okay. Don't forget Saturday. You want the mall to be in one place. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's hard to pinpoint dates, I think. Okay, I have but... a question. I have a question. Hmm. Okay, okay, so... Back in season, I believe it was season two, uh, you guys did a an episode on Tales from the Pizza Blacks before it came out, and you had me on the podcast. I asked you a question there, and I want to know if your answers have changed, whether due to this story or something else. Do you believe Gregory to be a robot? No. Um. Uh, that's that's a good question. Yeah. I. What I said in my recent video about GGY is that mm -hmm. it could still be possible, 100%. This doesn't debunk it, but I think nar in terms of the narrative, he doesn't need to be. You know, it, it's kind of just, like, unnecessary at that point. Yeah, maybe. I just yeah. feel... I still feel like a lot of the evidence does point to it, but I do agree it's it kind of doesn't have to be true in order for the narrative to make sense. I think yeah. that... If he is a robot, it makes more sense, like, why Glitztrap, why he's doing this, like, Glitztrap and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we I now know that he was a real kid who went to school and had a family, so, like... Yeah, but, like, so was Charlie, that's the thing. Okay, true. Okay, that is true. Yeah, but Charlie didn't really have a family, did she? she had well, she had a... Aunt Jen. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess. I guess. What truly is family? <laughs> <laughs> let's get That's into family now, guys. Family yeah, is just the friends we made along the way. <laughs> true. true. <laughs> Literally. Good fam. Are you guys, you guys my family? family Yay. Uh, oh. What's up, fam? <laughs> Welcome to the lamb. <laughs> What's up, Dark Rose fam? Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> What's up, bro fams? Welcome to. <laughs> What's up, Dark Rooms? Welcome okay, back to the other to the another episode of <laughs> Family. <laughs> so, yes. I have yeah. a question. I have an answer. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You get to write <laughs> it then. Um, so, Rab says that uh, he is the wizard's most favored apprentice. Mm -hmm. If we're assuming the wizard is Afton, Glitchstrap, whatever, yep. why is he the most favored apprentice? I think he might just be reading too much into a line. I, th I think I he's don't. just... I think he's just the least suspicious out of them all. I think it's because he looks like his son. Oh my goodness! But what about Vanessa, who looks like his daughter? <laughs> Shut the frick up. <laughs> Shut up, what she's like 26. Like goofy there. <laughs> Not that there's anything against 26-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate every 26-year-old. <laughs> and in five years, person. when I turn 26, I'm going to hate myself. I already hate my... <laughs> <I'll> anyway. Hate <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do we think about the story, like, itself? <laughs> I think it's good. I like it. It's okay. You know, I think it's a good story. I agree. Did anyone did anyone foresee the twist? Um, I mean, I did. I mean, I was spoiled long ahead that this would be page forty six. <laughs> so I, you know. Oh no no no! I'm I'm not talking about that. I mean, yeah. um, that Greg is Rab. Yeah, yeah. I, I I assume like from the preview, it was inferred that he was Gregory. Okay. <laughs> is, is this? Like, I mean, is this like? <laughs> Is that like well, no, like I, I got it, I got it like halfway through. 
Um, I, I was, I, I, it, it clicked for me when it was like Doctor Rabbit, and um, it tied in with the description as well, where it was like the rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, he goes into the rabbit hole. Yeah, um, I had it sussed. I, I remember, I thought we talked about it on the podcast where like we got the preview of it, and um, we were like, oh, also the description of Rab closely matches Gregory, so he's yeah, it Gregory. does. Mm, yeah, yeah, I didn't believe it at first, but yeah. One thing I will say, something I noticed, I don't know if this is a good observation or a bad one, and I don't even know if I actually believe it to be, uh, I, I don't know if I actually believe that it's it to be the case, but one thing about Rab is that he apparently cut his hair by himself, which I found kind of suspicious, considering Gregory is homeless. That's, but, that, that's a fair assessment. I like it. He also has a cut. He has also has like a plaster on his face, so a, a could be what? from the cut. That. Oh, I'm saying British terms, aren't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> a, a band aid. A band aid. Yeah. So, band aid. Come on, what is a band aid? Are you saying, <laughs> are you saying, Mr. Are you saying Mr. Gre Gregory right here has a band aid on his face because he couldn't cut his hair properly? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he stabbed himself. <laughs> what about the band-aid on his leg? Is he cutting his leg hair? Uh, he, he He's was like a crying child moment. He, he tried to... Now yes. that's a based theory. <laughs> I know. I, I have a theory. I'm, I'm too smart. What's your theory? I think that Gregory has a band-aid on his face because it it's related to, like, the bite. Or the bite of eighty three. So my question is, why does the crying child have a, a band aid on his leg? Was there a bite on his leg? Wait, what? <laughs> when does the crying child have a bite on his leg? Character encyclopedia. I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Kill issue. <laughs> yeah, it is a skill. So Gregory has a blast on his leg. So that's just crying child, right? Anyway, um, Gregory. I mean, so he's this, a kid. They actually, fall over a lot. Yeah, Cl kids are very um, injurable. Clumsy. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Do you say kids are enjoyable? I said in injurable. Oh, which is a. Ve I don't know if that's a word, but it's not a word. I made it up. <laughs> like they're 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 they easily very... injured. Yeah. 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 Subject to injury. Oh, you said endurable. Okay, so I guess no one understood what I was saying. Anyway. I understood what you were saying. Thank you, Evan. I really appreciate that. That's why you're my favorite. I think I, it, I think it must be a, a British versus American divide. Hey, we should I'm start using the word plaster instead of band-aid. <laughs> exactly. We should get back yeah, on top. Yeah, band-aid's a brand. Band-aids are a brand for bandages, not plasters. What is that? Can we get back on what? topic, please? <laughs> Well, you're a band-aid. You're not aiding away. any bands. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. It's a bandage, and it so, aids whatever. Anyway. What does this change about security breach? And Evan, you, I think it was you who asked a really good question before, like, when does this start? And I think that was Arcadendo. He... Oh, okay. And why does he... Why is he not possessed by Glitchtrap anymore? It's, like, the big question here. Does because anybody have anything to input? I have a theory, but I don't know if saying it out of context will award me any respect whatsoever. Say it. Go ahead. So I have no I have no respect anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> Kidding. Say it. Oh no. Oh no. He left. No. He left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your okay. Theory? So you may judge me. I don't you very you. well. By the, okay. Well, <laughs> when does when does this episode go out? when is this episode going out? Uh, a week from now. Okay, so my theory video will probably be out <laughs> by then. Just say it um, already. Okay. So, what if? Okay, let's say Gregory is a robot. What if there are multiple okay. Gregory robots? That would be a pickle, wouldn't it? That would be <laughs> what do you call that a bunch of Gregory's? Frustrating. A hack? A murder? Because <laughs> he's a hacker. <laughs> Is it a I get it. I get it. What a way to divert the conversation. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. 
A hack? A pack of Gregory's. A murder of Gregory's. Gregory. Gregory. Gregor anyway, Gregory. you were saying I've had multiple Gregory's? Okay, what if there's multiple Gregory's? One of them is possessed by Glitchtrap, the other's not. Hmm. I'm judging you very hard right now. <laughs> what, what, what would that solve? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I mean, it would explain why Gregory, when we play as him, is not possessed by Glitchtrap, because it was never him in the first place. No, I have a better theory. Oh god. <laughs> it's connected to, uh, the Balloon World. Okay. Okay. Because that, in the fire, was a right. into madness. And it has some yeah, strange yeah. dialogue as well in there. That's like, come see my friends, and that's related to GGY. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a glitch minigame, and that's about it. I I, I feel like it must be something to do... It, it's like Princess Quest, right? How saving the princess or, like, beating that game saves Vanessa from Afton's grasp. It has to be something to do with that. Yeah, I think that, like that uh, the way Afton gets control to thingy, Gregory, is through Balloon World, because... I think I commented this on your video. Um, you know how there's one in the uh, in the pizza place, and there's also one in the sun yeah. daycare room thingy. Uh, and then it looks like there's a kid living there as well. So Gre maybe Gregory was there. Maybe that's how he got control of him. I don't know. But that's what I think. I Mayhaps. Hmm. Hmm. It's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It is, yeah. and this book series keeps getting better somehow. Yeah. Like, can we just all read Tales from Pizza Plex? It's, like, awesome. <laughs> yes. Do you guys think it's better than Ben Fazer Frights? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I I'm okay Frights. to say that now. Yeah. Oh, Frights will still live in my heart it. forever, but... <laughs> yeah, same. Friendship ended with Frights. Yeah. Tales from the Pizza Plex is my new homie. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, Fazbear yeah. Frights are friends. Tales from the Pizzaplex are family. <laughs> Fazbear. <laughs> Fazbear Frights more like Fazbear friends. See, I'd be friends with Fazbear Frights. I would marry Tales from the Pizzaplex. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Tales okay, from Kate. the Pizzaplex more like family from the Pizzaplex. Do we have any? What are more? you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Um, what do we have? Anything else we want to talk about with GGY, or do we want to move on to the storyteller? Let's move on I to just, telling the story. Yeah, I, I just think this story was insane. Oh yeah, um, massive. It, it was, was bonkers. Insane. Yeah, I really find it funny how like. Um, that during Friday's people were like, we want books connected to the game lore that are obvious, <laughs> and then they give it to us, and people are like, no, it's not real! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, so exactly. funny. Yeah. You know, you can, ne you, can, you can never, ever, ever please a FNAF fan. That's oh, just no one, I've, no I've seen FNAF people saying FNAF that... Fans. I've been seeing people saying that GGY is, and, and Gregory being patient 46 was a retcon. Or that it's in a different universe and is not the case in the games. What the frick? I know. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at some of the comments I've been getting on my videos. It, you know, it's 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 not that people don't understand it. It's that it's that they're too stubborn to even to want it. to yeah. change their views. And as as well, like a lot of I've been seeing, especially recently, a lot of people have been saying, um, "Oh, you need the books in order to understand the games." And I'm oh, like. You don't. No, the games are like standalone. They're, they're, you can understand the story with the games. If you couldn't, then it would be bad storytelling. But the like, books do just like kind of help. Go deeper. Yeah. yeah, if you want to go deeper and understand it more, then the books are there for you. And I think it's done an amazing job at that. Also, the yeah, like, the books oh, are kind of there to it's explain. It's not fair because it's behind a paywall. Like, so are the games. <laughs> so is literally all the games yeah. except and like just like the games if you don't want to pay for it them. there are youtube videos of the books so welcome to the like real world yeah is... huh facts yeah suck on my big toe what please <laughs> sorry <laughs> what <laughs> what sorry let's move on to the storyteller 
<laughs> okay, let's move on. Did you start to think we should springlock people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Okay. Love spring locking people. So I do it. I, I do it every Tuesday. <laughs> okay, it's oh, kind no, of based. The storyteller is about <laughs> the board of direct, the Fast Brand team board of directors. Yes. Yeah. And they need stories to tell. Yes. How are they gonna do it? They're gonna put a massive tree in the atrium of the pizza plex for some reason, <laughs> and they're gonna hide a storyteller in it that is programmed by some mysterious AI. Called. Mm. What's it called? Say what it's called. The storyteller. It's the story storyteller. Okay, I mean, I mean, like, what's the program called? Oh, the Tiger Rock. No. <laughs> no. It's called Mimic One. <laughs> the program it's running. Mimic oh, One. right, yeah, we're not even at that point yet. Okay. Shut up. Spoilers. Oh my gosh. Should I just do More. this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so, anyway, so the, we the got program Edwin. It's called Mimic One. Okay, so okay, we got okay. Edwin. He's one of the board directors. Um, it's like sixty years ago. Years ago, Fazbear Entertainment okay. bought out his company, and he got a contract. That basically, was like, listen, you get paid a bunch of money, and you can't be fired. You cannot be fired. And he's like, okay. so detailed. Well, it's better than your <laughs> five seconds. <summary. laughs> anyway, um, something. I didn't happened. know I was doing a summary. I was just introducing the story. Oh, I thought you were doing the summary. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, something happened in his past that he's like not proud of, and it scares him. And he's like, "I need to atone for my past." Blah blah blah. Classic depressive stuff. Um, so um, basically, the other board director, uh, I forget his name. He's like he's like the head CEO. Basically, he's like, "Listen, we are losing oh, a bunch of Mr. money." Mr. Burrows. Mr. Burrow, yeah, that's what it was. Um, he's like, listen, we have a bunch of money that we need to save because we're not making any profit on the Mega Pizza Plex. We're going to cut out the, the creative writing squad. And Edwin's like, what are you going to replace it with? Stories are like the heart and soul of the company. And he's like, we're going to make an AI. And Edwin's like, heck no, bad idea. Very, very bad idea. And But they go along with it anyway. So they're like, we're going to make this thing called the Storyteller. Um, it's going to be the, like, the lifeblood of the pizza plex, so it's going to be in this tree of life in the middle of the atrium. So they start building it, and Edwin's like, this is not a good idea at all. Um, and because he can't be fired, he's like, yeah, you'll be, uh, you'll be a consultant on the project, but they don't even take his advice. Um. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And so he, and, uh, Mr. Bros is like, just to make sure no one messes with, with it, Edwin, he puts a, a biometric security lock on the tree. Um, and so Edwin's like, Okay, I need I need to know what this thing is. So one night in the Pizza Plex, he he stays behind and he and he peeks around the corner to watch them bringing the storyteller into the tree, and it's a it's described as a white tiger's head, which <clears> is <throat> the tiger from the Tiger Rock story. And something key about that as well is he reacts to it. He's like, yeah. oh no, I know exactly what this is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. It, um, it's implied that this is, this tiger has something to do with what happened in his past, and he's like, "This is this is bad. I gotta stop this." Um, but the storyteller goes online, um, and suddenly everything in the pizza plex is like starting to become more extreme. Like they call out how like Roxy is now being just full on mean to the guests. Monty is like getting more angrier, um, and it's the kind of characteristics characteristics we see. In security breach, um, and he's like, "I know the story's behind it, so I gotta stop it." So he looks at the plans. He's like, "Oh, there's a secret way into the tree." So he goes in. Um, he just keeps going in every night. I don't really know what he does. I forget. Um, but he's just trying to like figure out how to like stop it from being bad. Um, but Mr. Burroughs finds out, and he's like, "This guy's gonna pay." So <laughs> he knows that there's no ventilation in the tree. So if someone were to get, oh, I don't know, locked in there, they'd run out of oxygen pretty quickly. So <laughs> after finding out how he gets in the tree, it's from, like, the top, he puts in, like, a door that will lock him in there. And Mr. Burrow's like, okay, I'm going to lock him in there. And I, he, he knows he's going to kill him. <laughs> and he does it. He, he locks him in there. And then he just, like, goes about his business for, like, weeks. And he's like, hmm. I haven't heard from him. 
He probably got in and out. I mean, that makes total sense. Oh, I yeah, it's like he, he literally locked him in knowing that there's no ventilation. And then he's like, hmm, I wonder why he's not trying to get out. Yeah. Like, bro, he's <laughs> dead. So one day, I he, wonder. he goes in, <laughs> he uses the entrance, and he finds him dead. And there's like... And he's surprised. Paper, there's paper everywhere no with, just, with just, I'm sorry, written all over it. Yeah. And then he's like, I gotta get out of here. But... Since but he, he, get lo he gets locked in. He locked himself in with his little thing that locked Edwin in. Classic find player two. <laughs> yep. For real. And then he starts like <laughs> trying to break apart the storyteller, trying to like break the circuit, and then he dies. Yep. The end. Oh, that's a huge L. I think my favorite part of this entire story is when Fr uh, Glamrock Freddy's fighting o with a kid over something, <laughs> and yeah. then just goes and cries in the corner. <laughs> it's his own plush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just amazing. Cry baby. <laughs> so, uh, Cry baby Claremont what do Rondo. we think of this story? This one I, is a good one. I think it's yeah, I think it's good. I don't think it's yeah. amazing. Not as good as DUI. Because I mean I thought it was really good. Yeah, it is good. It is good, definitely. It's good. I think I think it's a bit goofy how... I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on the whole tree. I don't understand, like, uh, Mr. Burroughs' is, like, IQ level. Like, he's he's very stupid. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna lock him in so that he runs out of oxygen. Oh, wait, why is he not getting out of here? Oh, wait, why think, is he dead? To like, be bro. fair, this is the head of Fazbear Entertainment. I don't think anyone <laughs> expects him to be super smart. Like, come on. That's fair. I really like how it's all set up because you have this duality of Mr. Burroughs versus Edwin. Edwin knows everything about what Mr. Burroughs is handling, but he isn't allowing him to, you know, put any input into it or anything like that. And so it's like, it's really cool to see that kind of, yeah, the one who is in like charge doesn't know what he's doing at all, and that's kind of like how Fazbear Entertainment operates most of the time. Yeah, I don't know. I I just he, like he that basically system. says he says that he doesn't even know like he doesn't even like Fazbear Entertainment in general. He just does it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and it's like Edwin has like old posters of the old Freddy locations because he's the oldest one of the board. Like he yeah, he's like sixty three Freddy's when he was younger or whatever. Time. Yeah. Yeah. So he has like the old posters, and Mr. Burroughs has like changed it all to look like pop party and colorful and stuff. And he's like, This isn't Fazbear Entertainment. <laughs> yeah. So, should we talk about theories? Yeah. Yes. Oh boy. So, what do you guys think about Edwin's past? <laughs> <laughs> um, Edwin. What do I think about his past? Wedding. <laughs> Wedding. Wedding. Wedding the bed. Oh, huh. God. Okay, <laughs> why is everyone silent? Just say, like, what do you guys think <laughs> about his past? I was, sending, Tell me. Sorry, I, I was sending a text message. I'm sorry. <laughs> Skill issue. Okay. Oh, there Evan, you send What, 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 what do you think, think Edwin's past is, huh, Evan? You're the what do you think um, about I, Edwin's future? I, okay, his future is death. Um, so, <laughs> someone got so, someone left a comment on my summary video saying something like, um, "With with his past, it's possible that maybe he like created the mimic or something like that." One hundred percent. Yeah. And something I thought about that was he was like, "Remember how he had a son, and something happened to him? What if his son yeah. was one of the teenagers in the epilogues?" Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm not so sure about I that. I don't think so. The only reason I say that is because um, none of them seem to like have prior knowledge of the Endo, and I feel like, you know, the the son of the inventor would be like they would know a little bit about it. Like they'd recognize That's like fair. like oh, I know what that is. Or but all of them are just like, we don't know what this is. We need to get GTFO. We need to get out. That's fair. I also think it's like it's a lot further in the past. I, I think it's like pre Pizzaplex era. Yeah, I, he made I believe mimic. it was. 
I think it was like soon after he got bought out by Fazbear Entertainment because I think it's like said yeah. something like the decision to accept the buyout contract is what ruined his life and, basically. And here's mm-hmm. the thing. He made this mimic or the mimic program or whatever, or probably both. Um and it's connected to the Tiger Rock Tiger in some yeah. way. We're gonna hear about that story. It's about a VR cre- like Maybe. thing coming to we life. We don't know that. I mean, this these stories have these books have shown that the title story isn't always the first story. We don't know it's the VR. Yeah. Huh? Like Bobby Dots is the last story, but it's the title cover. We don't know that Tiger Rock will no, be the VR. No, it says story. it says. The tiger comes out. Oh, comes out of the VR. I don't know. Do, Wait, let me, here, let me know, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it up. Tales um, from the peas of plus. We let's okay. What about this though? It maybe he's not like one of the teenagers that was. Maybe his son wasn't one of the teenagers, but say that it, it he was. Could it be possible that it was like Nick, since he never even like really interacted with the mimic at all once they figured out what it was, right? Okay, so he, right. him I'm, having I'm no wrong. knowledge of it I'm wouldn't, dumb. I'm wouldn't really mean anything. Right. Well, uh, no, you you had a good intuition for that, but um, yeah, Kai can't shake the feeling that uh, oh god, can't shake the feeling that the tiger animatronic somehow has stayed with him. So uh, after a live after a session in the VR booth, so like that's very VR related, kind of like glitch trap. So obviously, mm-hmm. Mimic and Tiger Rock are very connected. We've also got the story, the mimic yep. coming up in the next book, sure. and that's going to have Edwin in it. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure in like most people words Can't or wait something. Can we forget to get right? leaked and then so, talks about it on Twitter and I get spoiled? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, but this is going to be like a a trilogy of like mimic stuff, which is crazy. Yeah. I, I, I just I love the mimic. I love the mimic. Mimic mm-hmm. is big. Me too. I would marry the mimic if I could. <laughs> Okay, arcade endo. You'd probably just get. What is it with us and family today? <laughs> the mimic makes like one sudden movement, like in in its sleep, and you just get your arms ripped off. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why I love you. Um... <laughs> 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 no, but I do, I, I do find Edwin's past like really intriguing, though. We'll probably learn more about him in like in in the next books and stuff. We but... will. Oh, we definitely will. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Let's make predictions. I think he made the mimic, and it killed his son. I agree. I agree. Or at least I some... agree. At that least, was easy. It, it, at least it had a part in, in killing his son. Hmm. Imagine his son was Jeremy from VR, and the mimic that he was worried about was actually the glitch trap virus. Well, hmm. actually, do we think the mimic old, so. program is glitch trap? It seems to be, since it's like spreading the infection throughout the Pizzaplex and to all the animatronics, and the animatronics are possessed by glitch trap. So. Definitely has a connection to it. Yeah. Like it could be that the um, that mimic is like the actual name of glitch trap. Have you guys seen uh, the theory that Enton posted on Twitter about yeah. the mimic? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. No, it's uh, that um, um, glitch trap isn't William Afton. It's just an AI construction of him. No, I disagree with that. Mimicking him. It, it it's that glitch trap is mimicking William Afton, and burn trap isn't William Afton. I think something like that. But what about it's... the flesh? Honestly, I think it's just cope yeah. that people are like, "Oh, this means that William is actually dead." Thank goodness. I think I literally think it's just cope. I think it has um, potential. But it could just be that William's mimicking himself, like with the murder. Wait, guys, you know how in the uh, in the character encyclopedia, Burn Trap's name is said to be non-canon. Non-canon so name. Yeah. The actual canon name be just the mimic. mimic. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I've seen a lot of people say that, yeah. I still think, I, I think, I just think it's like, still William, though. I agree. I think, like, why yeah, is it called him. Mimic is, like, the the big question here. Like, we've had a lot of mimicking themes, such as, like, sounds cool. an FAR. <laughs> it sounds cool. Um, I mean, yeah, sure. It does sound cool. 
but uh, I, I don't know. You like this location? I think there's a there lot more to it. Parent mimicking. What? In this location, the animatronics can mimic parents to lure children away. Oh God! <laughs> what? <laughs> you did not know about that. <laughs> you didn't? Oh yeah, they have they have like voice mimicking program. The voice can, mimic, yeah. They can uh, mimic the. Oh, I yeah, I knew about the voice mimic, but. To yeah. lure the children away. Plot twist, it's actually the Mimic from FNAF World. <laughs> the Mimic, mimic Chip. Pool. Oh my gosh, it's the Mimic Chip. <laughs> the Mimic Chip. FNAF World is can't. No, it's not. What? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you guys joking? No. Never. FNAF World isn't canon. It is. Oh, it yes, is. it is. Why are you trolling? Yeah, it is. Man, Maybe not story. exactly in the way that it's presented, but the storyline and like clues and I stuff. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like Freddy goes and like fights. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't happen. Yeah, it's an in-universe arcade game. What? Yes. Since when? Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> Why is that so absurd to you exactly? L listen, physics. No, 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 We are talking about listen, physics. Physics. Okay. Wait, 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 Could it have been made by Steve Snodgrass? Probably not, honestly. No. I, I doubt. Because he only made three games, and they were all horror games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure FNAF World is too old for the Snodgrass era. Yeah. Grod Snass. Snodgrassing today. Literally Snodgrassing all over the place. <laughs> Get Snodgrass. <laughs> Get Snodgrass. <laughs> Anyways. It's grass in time. We're once again way off topic. Um, <laughs> so. Book five. <laughs> and, it has and, a good ending too. Five. And we still even haven't read Bobby. Or at least I haven't read Bobby Dot. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arcadendo and Ozone. I have a question. Would you agree with me with this statement? It's not going to be a spoiler or anything about Bobby Doss' inclusion, but it is, like, kind of related. And, Psychic, you may agree with this later. I think... Oh, I agree Rose is the hottest. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Kidding! No, you're not. Anyway, don't, don't I think that... Don't! No, 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 Don't you dare say you're kidding. We all know you're not. No, don't. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I, I think, I think the, the one hottest. on the cover. No, I not, think... <laughs> not that. I think the one on the cover. No, I said, yeah. I, I want to say, Abe is the best Tales from the Pizza Box protagonist. I, I would agree. Mimic. Mimic, my beloved. In I, fact, I, by I far. Really, I love Abe. I thought that even when I read Bobby Dodd's part one. Yeah, I, think I genuinely thought you just said I love Abe. Hey, I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Abe is a babe. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, it was on. <laughs> he left. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> so. How's the weather? Mimic. Well, right now the weather weather is sixty degrees oh, Fahrenheit oh. and it's sunny. That's right. We use Fahrenheit. What is what is that in Celsius? Oh my gosh! Do you all use Celsius? I use yes. Celsius. Yeah. Oh my god. For me, right now it is seven degrees Celsius. Let me change the the setting on my. It's seven. No, it's sixteen degrees Celsius. Jesus. Can we, can we go back to talking about how you guys call it a band aid and not a plaster? <laughs> <laughs> He isn't letting go. Actually, um, <laughs> he's not letting go. Oh, I, I have something to say about my college campus, but I'll say that after the episode, but it is related to that. I just okay. don't want to dox myself. Okay. Sure. I'll dox you. I, I thought Band-Aid was like <laughs> Only if you uh, a, a charity. <laughs> uh, wasn't it like a charity thing? Arcade Endo. It was like a, a, the Christmas thing, right? What? what? Band Aid is also a charity. It is. What? Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's like a. It's yeah. it's literally a band that aids people. Okay, listen <laughs> up. We're 
I'm talking about Tales from the Pizza Flex, not charity. Charity. We're talking no about band aids. We're talking about we're, we're talking, about, we're talking about band aids. It's relevant because we're talking about GGY before, and he has and Gregory has band aids. Therefore, it is relevant. I want to talk about murdering people, especially children. <laughs> <laughs> I want okay. to talk about my beloved mimic. All right, sure, we All can right, talk about talk murdering about people. Hello, police, police, about, police, what? police. Are you there, police? What do you, what do you want to talk about? I'm on a call right now. What, I'm on a call right now. Somebody mimic. wants to talk about I murdering just, children. I just want to say how I love the mimic, and the mimic is, I love the mimic. Yes, I'll hold. All right, I I love the mimic as well. I find it very interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, all? yes, that's that's all I had to say. Okay, so can we just <laughs> quickly talk about how? Um, <laughs> why is book five always the lore heavy one? <laughs> yes. Uh, are you talking about in the flesh? <laughs> You know I am. We all we all know that's the most important <laughs> story ever. In the flesh is the best story ever. That is a it's fact. It's actually a good story though. That's the thing. Yeah, I like it as well. Ozone used to like think it. so. Yeah, I was used to think so until he got peer pressured into hating it. Yeah, no, I like it again. <laughs> okay. <Really? laughs> no. I I read it recently for you, for a video and I was like, damn, I might hate the story after I reread it. Nope, love it more. Exactly. It's so good. It's so good. I love Matt Especially Pat when getting uh, trap says daddy. Trap. <laughs> yeah, that, okay, no, that's the one thing I don't like about the story. <laughs> daddy, <laughs> why did that have to exist? <laughs> why did that have to happen? Um, daddy. The thing I love about the thing I love about in the flesh is the fact that it would make a great movie. Oh, totally. Graphic novel. <gasps> oh, please. It would be novel. like a good '80s horror movie. It would. <laughs> Where's the graphic In novel? The Blumhouse, get on it. Graphic novel when? <laughs> um. Okay, I know we said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, we need a Netflix show where each episode is a different Fazbear Fright story or Tales from the yes. Netflix story. Yeah. That needs to happen. Yes. Yeah. It's such a good idea. Although I think the FNAF movie is looking to be pretty good. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of FNAF movie news, like how Scott Ozone. was the like only writer of it, so you know it's gonna be Ozone. Good. You know how you, you're doing like the meme review again, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I watched your old one and you said that you don't have faith for the FNAF movie at all. <laughs> really? You did. Wow. Pretty, and you said well, you yeah. oh, so I think you said you prefer you? the Netflix thing or whatever. Oh thing. yeah, I I any day I would take like a Netflix series where they it's I don't, like episodic. I don't know if I'd prefer that, but I would want that at, like, as well. Um, I, the thing I, is, like, <laughs> yeah. Since since then, we've had like a lot of stuff on the FNAF movie, and it's given me yeah. a lot more hope. Yeah. At that point, there was like nothing we had. I remember when the yeah. when when they finally said they were starting filming for real. I remember like people were yeah. like, okay, no, that's not happening. It's never happening. Um, and filming's all, almost done as well. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's finishing been, early as well. Finished. Imagine being one of the yeah. FNAF yeah, three that days got to go and like see the set. That that must have been so awesome. It was originally yeah, going yeah. to finish on April sixth. Wait, that's the date of the ruin thingy. <gasps> right, there's yeah. new. There's a yeah, exactly. ruin. ruin. Oh my god, forty six. Genius. Patient. Wait, we should we should oh. talk about that actually because that fits in. It does it kind does. of a little bit. So. Yeah. So we was it like a mistake on Steel Wars part? I think so. Was like, it maybe, like, I think it was a mistake. Maybe it was just a marketing technique to, to get people hyped, and they were like, "Whoops, no, like, this was definitely not intentional or anything." It could have been, but like there was an yeah. image that was on um, securitybreachtv.com yeah. for very temporarily, um, and it was an image of a cyber deck. Which is like a, a thing that hackers use. And it is supposed to be released on the 6th of April, which is 4 slash 4 6. six. 46. Yep. If only it was on 420. Which is, which is sick. You know, there very well may be something on 420. 
Yeah, man, 420. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done drugs. <laughs> 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 I, Me neither. I'm a good. I'm a good as citizen. As soon as I like, started making like a joke, as soon as I started making that joke, I was like, "There, I've never done drugs. I don't know what it's like. I'm not gonna finish this." <laughs> Me neither. I have no idea what it's like. Neither. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. What do you mean? I, yes. I wouldn't. Nah, Arcade Endos had his remnant drugs because he's William Afton. Exactly. He's William Afton. I am the real, the the real William Afton. At the end of the but day, but I'm the real Carlton, your nemesis, William Afton. <laughs> the real William Aftons are the friends we made along the way. <laughs> real, real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the all right. real family. family yeah. Yeah. Any final thoughts on the first two stories before we wrap up? Do you G -G. think Matt Pat is Why? taking into account GGY for his timeline that came out today? I, haven't, I haven't watched it. it yet. I have not watched it yet either. But do you think he's going to? Probably not. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it came out. No. Yet. No, he will. He will. I think mm -hmm. so. Okay. I've not heard I, very uh, good I, things I, already, which I'm worried about. It after this. Together? Sure. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna I'm do a reaction. Would you all like to be in it as well? I don't mind. Just Wait, we could do a we could do a joint reaction. We could group reaction. We'll do we that. Could. Let's let's do that. Uh, let's end this. Let's end this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you so much <laughs> okay, for the sure. episode of the Dark Rooms podcast. Uh, uh, if you like to like, comment, subscribe, check out these guys. They'll be in the description. And, um, yeah, uh, we're going to see you guys next time. Check out the Reddit. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you for having me. Bye. Uh, thank you for having me, too. Bye. <laughs> okay, who's going to say peace? Peace. Peace. Peace.